Well, beautiful muses, welcome to this glow up reading. This week's glow up is going to be tapping into the goddess realm to communicate what your glow up is about. So let's get your messages here. We're gonna pick three goddesses, so three piles. Um, Feel free, if you feel like you're coming in to glow up energy, feel free to pick more than one pile. If you're not feeling glowy at all, maybe come back in a day or two and try again. But um, yeah, whatever, however many um, you feel attracted to is great. So we've got Iris, Gaia, and Epona. So those are our three goddesses to choose from. Feel free to pause here and focus on them and feel into whichever ones are calling you in or one is calling you in. When you are ready, timestamps will be in the descriptions and I will see you in your reading or readings. All right, see you guys. Hello, Pile One. Welcome to your glow up reading. Um, finding out a glow up energy you're coming into uh, through the goddess realm. And you guys picked Iris and communication. So I'm actually going to read from the guidebook for this. And then we will also pick an animal card and a tarot card to kind of add into it all. Okay, so Iris and communication. Clarity and communication is called for as your words will have great impact on others right now. So because this is a glow up, I would say that you are really aware of this, like coming into like a beautiful um, heartfelt awareness of your words. So kind of like a glow up of like how you're articulating and expressing yourself. Um, okay. Let's see, it's a wonderful time to start writing that book, telling new stories and sharing your experiences, strength and hope with others. You have everyone's ear, so choose your message wisely. Others will also desire positive and fruitful communication with you, so get ready for some amazing new opportunities to come from these discussions. Just remember to stay open and be clear about expressing your deepest desires, always speaking with integrity, kindness, and respect for yourself and others. The Greek messenger goddess Iris is thrilled to help your words take flight. Communication improves in all your relationships when she comes to visit. Most important, however, Iris reminds you of the communication you have with the universe. You are in a mutual dialogue and now is the time to pay attention to the signs and omens in your life. Trust this important yet subtle communication. It will never lead you astray when you listen and act accordingly. I love that. So not only, like there's so many dynamic ways you could see this glow up, like coming into a glow up of like how you're expressing yourself, but also maybe a glow up in terms of like an idea of something to write or express with words. Um, but also this glow up in terms of like really receiving spiritual information too. It's like this openness, this communication channel is open and bringing in, and I love this, like the way you may be seeing, because you look at her eyes and there's these rainbows coming out of them. The way you're seeing life right now could be just filled with a lot of light and beauty and, um, I don't know, like artistry, light and artistry. That's what it feels like. Cause it's like there's wings coming off of her head and this like ethereal cloudy glow around her and rainbows out of her eyes. And it's just like this, this beautiful communicative openness that's just special. I don't know a better word, but special. So yeah, look for, for communication coming into you, both around you and from spirit. Um, watch how you're using words in the world. Notice how beautiful the expressions coming out of you are. And then notice the ideas that are coming to you in terms of like, especially if you're like a writer um, but you could even just like journal some, maybe some things that like help you to tap into some beauty. 
Okay, let's get an animal energy to add to this. Ooh, dragon. This is like um, definitely adding some insight that some of the communications that you're coming into are really helping you to find your center, find your confidence, and find your ability to really take action in life with a kind of like um, an assertive knowingness of yourself. Like, what is it you need to communicate about yourself? What kind of confidence is centering in you and how might you communicate a new sense of, of empowerment and direction that's coming into you? And this dragon has rainbow colors in it as well. So that's coming through again. There's just like a lot of colorful ideas, colorful sense of self, colorful aura coming off of you, colorful way of articulating and expressing, but all of it's coming from a very centered place and things coming back towards you are helping to further center you um, and bring, yeah, some confidence in. I love that because this felt very ethereal and airy, but this gives it a little bit of girth, like, um, power right uh, so yeah I love this really really potent stuff coming through here okay let's also get you a tarot card to top it all off just a little bit more insight from the cards into this glow up the Emperor, oh my gosh, if there was a tarot card that matched the energy of the dragon, it would be the Emperor for sure. Um, new order, so this definitely adds in that this is like, um, like there's some new sense of putting like um, fresh order of something into your life or something that you're newly doing that's, that you're finding that know-how and clarity of how to like put some plans into action to start giving structure and order to something that you're maybe communicating or thinking or expressing and it's coming from your core sense of self from deep passion um, so there's definitely like on top of this very ethereal magical quality there's also this fire underneath it all as well but I think you're still even though there's like some fire and confidence and fierceness involved in this glow up you're still being you're still able to kind of like express from this very I don't know just like spiritual soft gentle place but underneath it all there's actually like quite strong will strong fire strong clarity of direction and purpose with it it's kind of fun I love it all right, so enjoy this glow up, enjoy this kind of new kind of direction and order and communicative magic coming out of you. And yeah, if this resonated, I always appreciate support, likes, shares, subscribes are easy ways to do that. Always grateful for kind and thoughtful comments as well. And yeah, good luck with your glow up and I will see you in future readings. Hello, lovely pile to welcome to your glow up. And this week's glow up is um, getting information from the goddess realm about your glow up. What is this about? So you guys picked Gaia or Earth. So I'm going to read a little from the guidebook to tap into Gaia's energy, what she wants to talk to you about. Okay, being grounded, slowing down, and remaining present in your body is the message the Greek goddess Gaia has for you right now. Perhaps you've spent too much time in your head lately and have not taken as good, um, as good care of yourself as you would have liked. Get into a rhythm, make sure you get enough sleep, commit to spending more time in nature, and eat sustainably with conscious awareness. 
Gaia, the earth, mother of all life, invites you to pay attention to your body, for you are a creature of the earth as well as spirit. So this glow up is definitely connecting you first and foremost with your own body, your rhythms, your body's needs, how it wants to be taken care of. It's like there's this channel of like real clear communication opening up from body information. Um, talking about and kind of like submitting and surrendering to body and like what it needs, what it wants to talk about, what it wants to do, what its preferences are, what it needs and really allowing in a little bit more pleasure in the body as well, tapping into your five physical senses and then that awareness and conscious attention toward body and taking care of it and listening to it and letting it kind of take the driver's seat for a minute kind of leads you even further into sort of like awareness of the material world so that might then lead you to really taking care of um your home a little bit more and then your yard and then maybe you feel inspired to you know, donate to environmental causes or animal causes or, you know, like just, and then also just like being out in nature and appreciating, like being really embodied and present. So like this glow up has a lot to do with embodiment, your senses, awareness of the 3D realm, its beauty, its magic, and how to take care of it just the way your body wants to be taken care of. Um, but also noticing its resilience, that it goes through the cycles that can be harsh um, and it, it can rebirth itself and recycle. And, you know, so like the way you trust your body to be able to do that, to um, recycle things and recover and rejuvenate and rebirth and grow, it's like, um, that understanding of the material world and, and this um, honoring of its resilience and its beauty and its magic and um, yeah, just, yeah, a lot of beautiful stuff coming through there. Okay, there's another paragraph too here, so I'll continue on reading. You are part of this living earth, which is the foundation for all of life that has a physical form. What form does your life take? This is the perfect time to take a closer look to ensure you're happy with it. You're also asked to examine the foundation of what you are building now. Does it feel solid and stable? Now is the perfect time to focus on stability and security, ensuring you move forward in a grounded way. The goddess Gaia reminds you that earth is the playground for conscious manifestation. So be respectful of this. Wow, so like also even talking about, you know, manifestation sort of starts with like some thought, like how we're using consciousness and how that impacts then the material world because it is kind of a um, receptacle of consciousness to create form. And so it's like also talking about like, well, what are you thinking and what are you putting action toward building? What are you trying to manifest and how do your, your thoughts and behaviors and actions all contribute? How does your awareness of what you're doing in life contribute to what you are manifesting? So some glow of energy coming here, it's like, I don't know, it's like a layer deeper of understanding and awareness of this and like seeing some immediate evidence of how that impact takes shape, you know, really starting to see how things move from consciousness to form and the power of that and then how to use that more beautifully and more with like more depth and awareness and care, right? So really cool stuff coming through here. Um, just a lot of like, yeah, energy around kind of manifesting too, coming in with this glow up. 
Okay, let's see what the animal realm wants to add to this. Sea serpent. So stay in connection with your emotions, with your sensitivity, and your ability to want to, to use your flow to create in life. Um, trust. Yeah, I mean, I do sense this glow up. It's like you are in a certain embodiment. Um, but on top of that, there's ebbs and flows and there's emotions. And so there's like another layer of wisdom in this glow up in that um, beyond embodiment or on top of embodiment, there's also a much more subtle sense and um, a set of, like an awareness of, of emotion and how to direct that and how to use that in creation, how to use the power of flow with the material power to really, it's like amplifying things. So it's like really strong manifesting ability because there's this subtle energy on top of it all and there's this direction and movement of of emotion connected to it that gives things like a layer deeper of like artfulness and creation with it all really really beautiful okay and then last let's get a tarot card to add to this glow up and we've got seven of wands valor yeah, so it's sort of like there may be something you're starting to see through where you have kind of the positioning, like a better positioning than you perceived that you had to manifest in the material life with a sense of emotion and depth and fluidity. Um, something about this is helping you to see that you you are actually on higher ground and more stable and victorious ground than you per, you know previously perceived. You're understanding that you have the ground you need to manifest certain things in your life with this glow up. Um, really understanding the strength you hold. Um, and so that like you don't have to be as maybe defenses defensive as you have been like it's not a like you're starting maybe to see that things aren't like a competition um it's all just personal will personal imagination it's not um i want what they have or i want i can do better than than you know bob and jane over there it's it's just like really getting in touch with like, oh, but what do I want for me? Not in comparison or not in competition, but like, because it's coming through me, because it's wholly personal, because it's completely my creativity, there is no comparison. So you're seeing how you actually have like a much stronger stance to manifest um, through coming th through the place this glow up is taking you to from a more personal place from a more internal compass um, takes you out of any energy of competition or defense because um, there is no competition or defense to be had it's all just personal energy it's coming from you and your authenticity and there is no comparison right yeah so beautiful it's, it's shifting you out of of some external place to a much more internal place so it's really cool beautiful beautiful glow up and i wish you guys well with this uh, if this did resonate i always appreciate um support likes shares subscribes always grateful for kind and thoughtful comments as well and i hope to see you in future readings Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your Glow Up reading. This week's reading, we are getting information about your Glow Up from the Goddess Realm, and you guys picked Epona. Wise Leadership. Okay, so I'm going to read a little bit from the guidebook for this. 
Okay, stepping into the world with a sense of surety and positive self-worth is what's called for now. Epona, the Celtic or Roman horse goddess of leadership and guidance, offers you her wisdom. Know that you have what it takes to heed it. You can do anything you place your attention on and you'll find it easy to accomplish what's needed for your intentions to take form. Whether you are aware of this or not, the way you manage your accomplishments and even the way you handle failures and losses is modeling the way forward for others. There is a wisdom growing within you, being true to who you are and placing integrity and humility equal to enthusiasm makes you a wise leader indeed, one that the goddess opponent is so proud of. Yeah, so I think you're starting with this glow up to see the confidence and the capabilities you hold in life are something that like others are actually looking up to. And there's a certain kind of um, depth that brings to our life that like recognizing when we've become a model for others or someone others are looking to, to lead them, it's like we start to recognize a certain wisdom in ourselves that, that maybe had to be mirrored to us in order to know the wisdom we held and so like this glow up I think is showing you a certain wisdom you hold because others are you're starting to notice others looking to you you're starting to notice others even mimicking you a little bit like in a flattering way not in a creepy way <laughs> um, or an encroaching way it's almost like watching a child mimic their mom do something it's like there's no it's not like creepy or competitive. It's just like, oh, wow, look at that. They're, you know, learning from me. And that's super cool because I can totally see where they're at. Like that's, um, you know, like, yeah, I do. You know, they have a long way to go and I'm so glad I can help them learn things, right? Um, and so I think that adds into a sense of, of owning of leadership, of owning a certain confidence in something and solidity in something, in your character, in your skill sets, in your abilities, in your competence, whatever it is. Um, this glow up is like this new recognition or even like a new status you're stepping into. Maybe it's like something's newly solidified and so now that's like starting to be mirrored to you. But it feels like something you've worked hard at, that there's experience in, that there's things you've put a lot of effort and and um, gained, you know, wisdom usually comes from experiential uh, going through of things, <laughs> like journeys. Um, so there, there's, you know, experience behind whatever confidence you're stepping into, whatever aura of leadership you're stepping into, whatever sense of wisdom is emanating from you. And so it's like, um, I don't know, like a feeling of accomplishment coming through here or of like leveling up in life. Um, not so much like climbing the ladder leveling up, but like, um, yeah, just like a leveling up of your energy, of, of recognition and honoring of your life experience uh, as valuable. Okay, we're gonna get an animal message to add to this, so hawk. Yeah, I feel like messages are coming to you, like you're starting to embody and see this wisdom and this leadership capacity coming. Um, because there's like, um, it's like people or things from the outside are witnessing it and they're able to give you messages about it. It's like removed observers, detached um, objective observation is being mirrored to you of like, did you just see, you know, like what's an example you could say like, one day you're, uh, friend comes to visit you 
at work and they just make a note to you of like, oh, that's cool how many people, um, it maybe say you've got an office, you're not necessarily like a big wig executive, but you've moved up enough in a company that like you have an office and there's a lot of people with like cubicles outside of you, but you're kind of like, still kind of think of yourself on the same sort of, well, you know that you're like a level above them in terms of expertise and and experience and, and um, whatever, uh, ability or something. Um, but you don't necessarily think of yourself as their leader or that you have things to offer to these people because they don't necessarily like work under you. But maybe like a friend comes to visit one day and they just reflect to you like, oh, it's amazing how respected you are by everyone out there. Do you see how like they all want to be helpful and they all want to ask for your advice and um, even your boss seemed to like want um, insight from you. And so like someone from the outside like reflecting to you um, just the way other people that you've sort of normalized and so you don't really know You know, and it's hard to be when you're the person receiving certain attention, like how to take it or even notice it happening. But someone like very objective from the outside saying like, wow, people really, really respect you and like look up to you. It just shifts something. You're like, oh, wow, I guess they do. I hadn't fully put that together. Maybe I sensed it a little but like, yeah, I really am kind of looked up to here. So that's just one scenario. It doesn't have to be the workplace, obviously, or something like that, but that's what this hawk feels like. It's like outside observer giving you the big view, helping you to really sink into this. Like, I feel like you're starting to feel it, but it's like this outside observation just like clicks it into place of like, oh yeah, confirmed, like, but in a bigger way than maybe I thought. Um, that's what this feels like, right? Okay, so last thing, let's get a tarot card to add to all of this, so six of discs, success. So you literally could maybe have had like a promotion lately at work, or someone maybe gave you an offering, like paid for a course in your life, or paid off a debt for you, or gave you a little loan. Um, and you're starting, or like maybe that's about to happen with this glow up. Maybe that's what it is. I think it's about to happen. Oh yes, absolutely. Because you are like starting to own, you're coming into the glow up of your wise leadership, right? Um, so you're about like it's, this is going to pave the way for some kind of um, loan, raise, offering, gift, something that reflects to you that you're trusted, that um, people want to help you even go further in that wisdom and leadership, um, or just want to support you in what you have to offer, right? Whatever it is. But this does show like some, I think like generosity coming off of you because you're recognizing your own capacity and so you're being more generous with it. And in return, you're receiving, right? People are then being generous back, whether that's through offerings, raises, loans, whatever it may be. I don't think it's loans, it's usually a giving, like, yeah, so a raise or an offering or a gift of some sort. Um, yeah, so I think this glow up is paving the way to receive something a little a little leg up as you would say <laughs> all right that is your glow up i hope this resonated and wish you so much luck with it it's really really beautiful and exciting if this did resonate i always appreciate support likes shares subscribes always grateful for kind and thoughtful comments as well um yeah and i just wish you a beautiful day wherever whenever you are and i will see you in future readings